Hey guys, Tony here. Today's project is removing the striping off of my 2008 Mustang. All right, so if you saw in the last video, I was gonna remove this badging right here. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that in addition to the adhesive, it's got a little tab that goes through the fender and I don't wanna have a hole in my fender. Not a big fan of it. It looks kind of cool. If it didn't have the word Mustang running through it, I would probably leave it, but because it does have that big Mustang on there, I hate that. I wanna take that out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Key to this is not to rush it and not to let this sit in one place either because you do not wanna overheat this vinyl. If you overheat it, it's gonna just bubble and burn and potentially damage the paint. So you want to heat it up well, but you want it to be kind of like Goldilocks, right? Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Now that I've heated it up, I come in behind it. I carefully peel that away. Now that I'm getting it started, everything's looking good. I'm going to keep heat right in front of where I'm pulling so that it's going to lift and hopefully get all the adhesive at the same time. And overheating it, you can tell it broke away a little bit. That was too hot. I don't want it too hot, I want it just the right amount. Okay, it's lifting real nice, real easy. I'm just pulling straight away. Boom. Okay. Now, you can see right there, that's all adhesive, so that's gonna have to be removed with adhesive remover. And then I'll come back through and buff that. That'll be in the next video. Going to heat up this area and then I'm going to carefully lift away just a corner to get it going and apply more heat and gently pull it away. Use my razor blade just to get a corner started here. Anytime it's starting to rip like that, I've overheated it and it's just stretched beyond what it can take. So I don't want to overheat it like that. I want to get one clean full pull. I'll keep the heat gun in front of where I'm pulling, heating that up to make it come off seamlessly.
right, so step two is going to be removing that adhesive that I've already shown you is there. In today's example, I'm going to use Goof Off Pro Strength Remover. This is not normal Goof Off. Normal Goof Off, I feel, is going to be bad for the paint. Goof Off Pro Strength Remover is car paint safe. I've used it before and have not had adverse reactions. Obviously, you want to test a small inconspicuous area on your car's paint to make sure that that's true for you also. Now you're going to want to put it to the surface. 